Welcome back to Beyond the Trailer six-part special report on talent to watch in 2013. We've already discussed how Daniel Radcliffe will be redefining himself this year, so now let's turn our spotlight on his Killer Darlings co-star, Dane DeHaan. DeHaan is definitely a character actor rather than a leading man, and also an excellent example of how the huge demand for talent to fill the vast number of roles in comic book movies is bringing unusual actors to the forefront. See, whereas in old Hollywood, a star could play the same kind of role in various films back to back, and the new cinematic universes that are now being built, an actor can play just one role. So when Mark Webb needed to cast new roles for his upcoming The Amazing Spider-Man 2, he not only couldn't pick any actors from the original Spider-Man franchise, but also any actors already signed up by Marvel Studios or Warner Brothers and DC. Well, like many of you, Webb must have seen Chronicle, last year's low-budget, big box office grossing found footage sci-fi flick where DeHaan played the troubled villain. So suddenly, DeHaan found himself taking over for James Franco as one of the lead villains in a blockbuster franchise. And he's not even British. Yes, foreign actors sure do seem to have a monopoly on Hollywood's villainous roles, but it seems we finally have an American contender with the Pennsylvania-born DeHaan, who just recently married his longtime girlfriend and fellow thespian Anna Wood. While we won't get to see him play Harry Osborn until 2014, this year we'll be seeing DeHaan play Daniel Radcliffe's lover and a murder suspect in the period thriller Kill Your Darlings, the much buzzed about film that just debuted at Sundance. We'll also see him starring opposite Reese Witherspoon and Colin Firth and Adam McGowan's Devil's Knot, which tells the origin story of the West Memphis Three, the three teenagers famously found guilty for a heinous murder in 1994, only to be later championed by Hollywood and recently released. DeHaan also has a small role in A Place Beyond the Pines, Ryan Gosling and writer-director Derek C. and Francis follow up to Blue Valentine, which also comes out this year. So do you think DeHaan will help Webb keep his track record of offbeat yet captivating casting choices for Sony's Spider-Man reboot? And do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing that DeHaan already seems to be typecast? Write your thoughts down below. And be sure to check out the rest of the episodes in BTT's special report on talent to watch in 2013.